What's going on, everyone? Mr. Axel FPS. Give you a bicep shot. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Well, that's the shit's. I can show the same progress he does, right? No, I'm just kidding. I don't even want to. I don't even. Want to, I shouldn't even put that in there, but I'm going to. But uh, anyway, I just want to start off by saying that the training videos they're gonna be on hold for a little bit. Actually, I might just you know I might put them on uh. I might put them on like slowly one by one. I don't know really what to do right now because I don't know if anyone knows. Only a certain people know. Only certain few people may know. I had a subdural hematoma on it was Friday of last week. <coughs> uh, I went to I went to the gym. I think I did yeah I did legs. I was doing it was day. Day two or day three of Johnny Cantito's training, but the second week. It was the second week, day three, day two, one of those days. Whatever day it is on leg, where it's leg day, you go, you do like whatever of your max. You do like, I, I don't know, I don't even want to get into whatever percentage it is of, of your max, but it was, you know, a heavy day. You go for six to ten I think I got all ten of them with my, with the weight I was supposed to use and after that you do ten you drop the weight ten pounds and you go <clears throat> ten sets of three ten sets of three for ten reps or sorry that was really stupid ten sets of three with sixty second breaks in between and I did I got through all all ten of those but the thing is, like, as soon as I got into the gym, I wanted to warm up because I felt really, really, you know, I just felt weird. I just didn't feel right. You know, I felt, I didn't feel like I was going to, you know, have fucking subdural hematoma or something wrong with my head. But anyway, I went in. It just didn't feel right, like, hitting legs. I was just like, fuck it, yeah, I'm going to hit it anyway. And I warmed up. I, you know, I just warmed up with just the bar. And let's see if I can show you guys. Right here, I used to, I have a bruise up a little bit higher, but I can't pull my pant, well, actually maybe I can, you can't see it, can't pull it up that high, but I have a bruise right here, like right around here, or something, I pulled something maybe, um, yeah, but I was doing just the bar, which is 45 pounds, um, I was doing, I did like four reps, I was doing four reps, putting 10, 20 pounds on, 4 reps, 20 pounds on, so I did 45, my leg felt like hurt like crazy every time I went down, my right leg hurt, every time I went down and got back up, my leg really, really hurt, <clears throat> I was like, fuck it, I gotta get past this, so I just, you know, it didn't feel like to the point where I couldn't train, so I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna see if I can get through this, put on another 20 pounds, did another like 6 reps, Put on another 20 pounds, did like 8 reps, and then I put on another 20 pounds, and then did 10 reps. Then I jumped right into 135, or 125 actually, which is, actually no, 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 sorry, I went right for the set that was 135 for 10. I was going to try to get 10, I was pretty sure I could get 10. And as soon as I did the first rep with 135, I actually didn't feel any pain. Throughout the whole set, I didn't feel any pain for whatever reason. I don't know, that's just another, that's just a story, you know, it's something to tell you guys, but I don't know what that was about. I felt no pain on that whole set, and I didn't feel any pain the rest of the day. I guess it was just warm-up pains or whatever. But getting into it now, the, this the whole story about the subdural hematoma. Uh, <coughs> I went into uh, about 20, 30, maybe like 15 minutes after the gym, 15, 20 minutes after the gym, I went into a uh, restaurant to eat. I got uh, broiled chicken, or broiled, I think, I, whatever, baked chicken with uh, sh with crab meat and a diet soda. <laughs> anyway, for real, though, that was really what I got. And uh, about 20 minutes, well, like 15, 20 minutes into being there, which is about... 40 minutes after the gym, 
I started to feel a pretty bad headache coming on. I felt a, you know, decent headache coming on. I was just like, what the fuck? I never get headaches. So I was like, okay, I guess I'm just having a bad headache or getting a headache. I'm going to have a headache today, whatever. Go home and go to sleep. So got a headache. And I told the dude I was with, I'm like, damn, this headache's really, really bad. And he's like, it's just probably a migraine. I was like, I never get migraines, but if this is a migraine, I can see why people complain about it. And I was just, like, going on about how people complain about it and shit. And I'm like, this, I could understand this, because this really fucking hurts. Got there, like, stayed there for, like, an hour about something like that, talking to, talk to my friend. And by the time it was time to leave, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to drive home. And he asked me if I wanted to get a ride home. I was like, nah, I'm just going to drive. Like, I'm trying to hurry up and get home, because this shit hurts too much. I want to go to sleep. I get home which I probably shouldn't have done is drove, but I did anyway, and get home, <clears throat> tried to lay down, and as soon as I laid down, I jumped right back up because the pain hurt so fucking much. And, like, then I... <laughs> here's, here's the coolest part. I went to go... Like, I thought, you know, maybe taking a shit would help because I felt nauseous. I took a shit. It felt good for, like, 10 seconds, and then the pain started going back. So my mom went out to the store. I didn't have any car. I was like, oh, fuck, like, I need to go to the hospital. I just kept pacing back and forth, back and forth, because I, I was like, I feel like I'm going to die. And I kind of felt like calling 911. I didn't do that, though. I <clears throat> called my mom and told my dad and uh, basically drove me to the hospital, which is a small hospital around here. That really sucks. Well, it's not that bad. But whenever I got hit by the car, the, surprisingly, they actually uh, did surgery there, or else I would have lost my leg. But uh, went to the hospital. They basically said, at first, like, the pain, asked me what my pain level was, and I didn't have, my head didn't hurt anymore, but I knew something was wrong because my head hurt way too much for, you know, just a normal headache. And it barely hurt too much anymore then. Like, I felt it go away. I was thinking... Thank God, I told him my pain was still like a 7, though, just because I was in the hospital. And, uh, they gave me some pain medication and stuff, and they came back. Well, one of the doctors came back that after they did a CT scan, or whatever it was, CAT scan, and, uh, basically said that the first thing the guy said was, did you get, were you in any car accidents? Were you, did you get... Did you take any blows to the head in the last 72, 24 hours? And I'm like, no. I'm like thinking, this, this guy's crazy. He's joking with me. He's trying to make a joke because there's absolutely nothing wrong. And he had like this look on his face. And I was just like, oh, fuck. Because as soon as he told me, he's like, it's a subdural hematoma. That means your brain's bleeding. And we're going to have to rush you to uh, Hershey Medical Center, which is about 40 minutes away from my house. And uh, they basically rushed me there. And whenever he told me the news about the subdural hematoma, I was scared shitless. Like, I had no idea. He made it sound like I needed to go get emergency surgery and shit. So I'm thinking to myself the whole time there, like, fuck, I'm going to have to have brain surgery. This shit sucks. Luckily, whenever I got there, they... You know, it was a pretty decent hospital. It was all right. I've had better, but regardless... I'd rather not die. So I went there and uh, they hooked me up with all the stuff that I needed. The next day, actually it was around like 4 o'clock in the morning that I got there. The same day, which I thought was the next day because it was, I, was, I couldn't keep track of time. They basically made me stay there for three nights. Three nights I stayed there. The second, or yeah, the first night there they gave me a... Uh, <clears throat> a CT, was it a CT? No, an MRI. I think it was an MRI. Yeah, an MRI. I stayed in that bitch for like two hours. And since I'm on, I'm normally on Subutex, they didn't give me my medicine before I went in there. And they were like, I asked them, I said, I'm not going to be able to stay in this thing for two hours if I don't have my pain medication. They're like, well, you're not due for pain medication for two hours. And I'm just like, well, I'm not going to be able to do it, but I'll try. Stayed in that bitch for like 20, 20 minutes. And I was fucking around with like the little, 
I don't know, you know how they put the thing around your arm? I don't know how to explain this thing. And they have the thing that you pump like this and it puts all, puts all the air pressure. Every time you go like this, the air pressure goes up and makes this thing bigger. Well, they have one of those to, you know, to squeeze if you had an emergency or else you're stuck in that bitch. And I was fucking around with it like a dumbass while I was in there. And the thing fell off and luckily, thank God, I catched it. And if I wouldn't have caught it, I would have been in that thing for another like hour without been, being able to press that emergency button because I had shooting fucking pain the whole way up my back like crazy. I put the bitch back together and pressed it and still the lady was like, she goes, I hear her in the headphones, she's like, do you, is there a problem? I'm like, obviously I fucking pressed the button. She's like, okay, well, <laughs> she goes, okay, well, um, what's wrong? I'm like, my back is hurting like crazy. I need my medication. Like, I can't stand this thing right now. She's like, okay, so you, you need, we still have about like 30, 40 minutes. So you want to continue? I'm like, no, I fucking pressed the button for a reason. So get me out of this thing. She's like, there's only 20 more, 30 more minutes left. Just try and stick it out. I'm like, no, get me out of here. Like, I need to get out of here. So it takes her like five minutes to come into the room. She pulls me out. So like, you know, you get out of that little tube thing. And she's she starts talking. She's like, there's only 20, once again, there's only 20, 30 more minutes left. Can you just stick it out? Or else we're going to have to do it over again. I'm like, no, I can't. This is why I pressed the button in the first fucking place. So she's like, okay. And she like on... She undoes whatever, like, you know, drags it back. And I go to get up, and they have this thing around your face. I fucking... My head in the first place is the reason why I'm there. I smash my head off the fucking... The, like, mask that they have that, that goes over it. And it's locked. And it fucking hurt like a bitch, because I smacked... Like, I got all my force to go up, and I smacked myself in the head. And she's like... She's like, I didn't tell you to get up yet, whatever. So whenever I do get up, she's like, what'd she say? She's like, well, you have bleeding in your head right now. I really suggest that you go back in there. I was like, I will, but can you get me my pain medication? So she calls the doctor. She comes back with the doctor. The doctor gives me 0.2, 0.2 milligrams of <laughs> Dilaudid. And the doctor says to me, I'll never forget this shit. He goes, this might make you feel a little bit dopey. So he shoots it in me. And I'm just like, whoa. And he's like, yeah, see? And I was like, no, I'm just joking. Like, it didn't, it didn't hurt at all. And he got, like, this grin on his face, like, this fucking asshole. Like, you know, but whatever. Like, it didn't do anything. If anything, it made me just feel, you know... It, it just made the pain go away literally for like five five and a half minutes and I felt like shit again because they couldn't give me my medicine for another like six hours after that because they just gave me medicine I was like why couldn't you just give me the Subutex but whatever I'm not even going to go through that anymore I've probably been talking for like 15 minutes now but long story short basically <clears throat> I have a subdural hematoma I'm not going to be able to lift for about I think they said a month, it might be two months, and the reason being, they didn't know, it was either high blood pressure, uh, high blood pressure with the pre-workouts, um, B being possibly, they said 72 to 24 hours ago, if it was 72 to 24 hours ago, I'm, I'm banking on my blood pressure with pre-workout, B could have been two or three months ago whenever I was boxing, and Luke Keller, shout outs to Luke Keller, knocked me the fuck out, and my head hurt like a bitch. They said it could have, I looked up online, and it, it could have been from three or four months ago to up to five months ago, and you wouldn't be able to feel it till just now. So it could have been either one of those two, but I am still allowed to do cardio, little bits of cardio, I'm allowed to walk on a treadmill and do the elliptical, I think, I got, I'm just gonna walk on the treadmill, like, honestly, I can't even drive for a month, so how the fuck am I supposed to get to the gym, but, uh, that's just my story, we'll see what happens, and if I do actually get to know what caused it, I'll let you guys know, but this is just my little rant, I'll talk to you guys later, peace out, bye, oh, I'll have, 
I'll have another workout video tomorrow or in two days or something, but this is just a vlog for now. Peace out.